uh, hope that everybody can listen to my words. Am I audible to everyone? Okay, uh, I would, I'd be happy if you can uh, put your uh, uh, messages in the chat box as well. I'll be looking that as well, okay? And my dear friends, uh, it's uh, with extreme pleasure that I am joining this webinar from uh, the, the, the okay. shore of Red Sea. Uh, King Abdulaziz, oh, please don't use these, uh, what do you call, you know, uh, screen sharing for uh, another purpose. Don't uh, make any, any writings on the screen. This is the problem with the Zoom, the webinar. So please don't do anything with the uh, uh, screen. So uh, I request you to keep quiet and you know, <laughs> keep uh, controlled uh, when using the uh, mobile uh, devices. Okay, from the uh, Saudi Arabian King Abdulaziz University, it's my pleasure to join you in this uh, morning. And I take this opportunity to uh, mention my uh, dear teacher, Dr. Preeti Abdulaziz. When he asked me to you know, give a presentation to the teachers over here, I was very much happy. And so uh, I am here with you and I uh, accepted the invitation of Dr. Nifisa Bibi and uh, pr the principal of uh, Sir Sayyid College. And I was very happy that you know, I was listening to the, the brief presentation by uh, the uh, uh, Vice Chancellor, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Gobinath uh, Revindran. And it was all enlightening for the teaching community. And I take a privilege and pleasure to be with you in this fine morning. And uh, my dear teachers, I would like to you know, uh, just uh, open up your mind just by asking you a question. Uh, just do it by yourself and I may listen to you in that way. Okay, please, uh, this is the thing. Uh, I'm going to show you this slide. Uh, just have a look at the slide and uh, do as directed. Okay, please uh, say silk five times. Everybody please say silk five times. Janchi Thomas is there visible to me. Hena Jyoti is visible to me. Shashi Kumar is visible to me. Please say silk five times. Okay, silk, silk, silk. Okay, now the next thing is that now spell silk. S-I-L-K, okay, very good, S-I-L-K, S-I-L-K, okay, very good. And of course, now answer my question, what do cows drink? Milk, huh? Ah, yes, Jansi said it is milk. No, it is not milk. Cows drink water. Okay. <laughs> cows drink water. I just want you to uh, uh, have a, uh, uh, what do you call, ice break. So the, here is the situation that we are conditioned. We are conditioned the way in which we are doing things or we are listening things and you know, we, are, we have been brought up. So now there must be a paradigm shift, my dear friends, because the situation in the country and in the world is different from that of the previous uh, year or uh, previous days. So we need to have a, a, a real paradigm shift from every uh, perspective. So I just, yeah, I just want you to be very careful to uh, be uh, with this uh, paradigm shift. Uh, one of the uh, uh, guy might, might have drawn what you call you know, a line on the screen. Please uh, remove that. <laughs> okay, now my question is about two words. Which are these two words? FOBA and FOMO. Can anybody give uh, 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 an expansion of this in the chat box? FOBA, what does it mean by FOBA? Our generation has been uh, in, in two months. FOBA means, what does it mean FOBA? Okay, any, any, any answer from your side? FOBA and FOMO. <laughs> Teachers, yes? FOBA and FOMO. Do you have any idea about that? I can see Shahad K.E. and Tony Jose. <laughs> Shaina Janardhan. Any, any answers? FOBA and FOMO. Okay. I don't find any. Okay, I don't want to waste your time. I just give you the answers. Phoba means fear of being alone. Fear of being alone. We are all, uh, you know, uh, 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 having this feeling of fear of being alone. These days in the period of lockdown, we are all having this phoba and we are all having the feeling of FOMO. FOMO means fear of missing out. Am I right or wrong? Okay, guys. Uh, okay, of course, Agni, Agni has uh, answered to me. Thank you very much, Agni. Uh, and you. These feelings are pertaining there everywhere in the field. So these, is, these are the words that we need to remember. And you know, the pandemic, when we examine the history of pandemic, you can see that you know, pandemic has changed or pandemics have changed in the course of history in different ways. 
as college teachers, as researchers, you might have uh, made a uh, Google, made a made a, a research into that. If you find uh, uh, some of the articles by Insider, Insider, a recent article which tells you uh, something about how the uh, pandemics have made uh, 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 differences and you know drastic change in the course of human history. You can identify that you know uh, pandemics have brought about great changes in the governments, great changes in the field of research, great changes in the field of uh, 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 what do you call uh, monarchy, uh, uh, oligarchy, and uh, uh, what do you call you know uh, uh, imperialism, and in the field of uh, uh, research of vaccines. And of course, in the field of money, uh, uh, money, value of money. And of course, this pandemic, COVID-19, is going to bring about a drastic change in the field of digital education. This is my point. Okay? So, uh, please. So COVID-19 is going to bring about a drastic change in the field of education. COVID-19 uh, could change how we educate future generations. In this context, I appreciate the initiative of uh, Surprise College uh, in, the, uh, in the name of uh, Doctrina. They have conducted a wonderful uh, seminar, webinar, and uh, I'm uh, happy with uh, this uh, series. And I appreciate uh, the uh, efforts by, made by the management and the staff and the uh, principal of the college. So COVID-19 could change how we educate the uh, young generation. Uh, educating citizens in an interconnected world. Now the world is interconnected. Don't think that you know the teacher and your students. Now the, your students, you know, for example, in my case, I am teaching in King Abdulaziz University. Uh, before I was teaching only to my students in my particular classroom in the uh, limited physical space. But now I am teaching, I am engaging uh, uh, my class with students from Abha, from Riyadh, from Taif. They are sitting in their homes and I am interacting with them. So it has changed and redefining the role of the educator. And COVID has redefined the role of the educator and the teaching life skills are very much badly needed in this period. And of course, unlocking technology is also very important. In this context, teachers and my dear friends, uh, uh, we have to have this resilience, flexibility and adaptability and the emotional intelligence, continuous learning, entrepreneur skills and creativity and critical thinking. Okay, now uh, I have many things to uh, 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 share with you, so I'll be moving fast and a bit, uh, uh, what do you call, faster. So bear with me. Okay, this is it. Now, just have a look at why we go to university. Since you are dealing with the university students, you know, you have to just revamp, achieve higher order skills, then attain entrepreneurial mindset, enjoy more autonomy by comparison with the working life, challenge prejudices, Opportunities to enjoy diving deeply into a subject that you are passionate about. The opportunity to create lifelong friendship. This is why they come to college. This is why they come to university. And you know, we should remember that. And when we analyze the common purposes, shared purposes of the different universities in the world, we can see that a position at the frontier of the knowledge. The students who are sitting in your class or attending your class online, they want to be at the frontier of knowledge a duty of pushing to the boundary of pushing the boundary of knowledge. Your students, after attending you, each of your class, should be able to push the boundary of their knowledge. And a pursuit of knowledge must be uh, uh, there in your students. And of course, a dissemination of knowledge also is there. And so as undergrad teachers and you know, postgrad teachers, I would suggest you to focus on mainly on the two basic skills of uh, uh, absorption and the dissemination. That means, uh, how to assimilate and how to produce. This is very important. So your focus must be always on how to uh, acquire knowledge uh, in the field and how to uh, disseminate the knowledge in the field uh, through academic research papers and presentations. So my dear teachers, uh, now I have a question for you. This is the question. <laughs> of all the students you have taught over these years, who stands out in your mind the most? Uh, yeah, 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 that guy who never attended your class. Huh. Yeah, that guy who came to your class and cracked a jock. Yeah, that guy who, who got a rank without attending your class. Yeah, you, many minds are coming up, popping up in your mind, I'm sure. Am I right? Okay, the next question is there. Of all the teachers who have taught you over these years, who stands out in your mind the most? Ah, some faces are looming large, zooming up. Yeah, many faces I can see, many faces blinking in your eyes. Yeah, 
the question is if the same question is put to your students how many of their minds would be brilliant with your faces here starts the question the art and science of classroom interactions so we have to go back in the digital age we have to go back to the traditional classrooms because we can't we can't ever uh, replace the tradition I hope you remember the poem kalyana saugandigam by vailar i don't want to uh, 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 delve deep on that please malayalam teachers just ponder over that kalyana saugandi you cannot discard the tradition you cannot dis rule out the uh, individual talent you have to have a blend of both okay my dears this is the thing in terms of uh, uh, your position as a teacher we can put you in one of the quadrants here you you look at on the x axis there is creativity on the y axis there is a, a knowledge am i right yeah and there are some teachers who are very low in their knowledge they are very low in their creativity but somehow by choice or by chance they became teachers and somehow some students are still suffering because of that such teachers who were hard working but they they don't have that art of teaching or science of teaching but they are teachers they are university professors such teachers who never displays any creativity or any knowledge but they come and go like zombies such teachers are known as a big failure okay and of course there are some teachers who are very good at knowledge they may be phd's they might have produced hundreds of papers they might have attended international seminars but they are not useful in the classroom they don't know how to present how to uh, deal with the students they don't know how to appreciate uh, the talents of the students such teachers we have a name for such teachers the teachers are dull dull Okay, you are going to place you in one of these quadrants soon. Hope that you you don't belong to these quadrants. Okay, let's have a look at the next quadrant. This quadrant is that knowledge is low. Yeah, he doesn't publish papers. He doesn't read update or something like that. No, but he is very popular in this. I mean, he is very <laughs> good at creativity. And when he teaches something, it's wonderful. Every student appreciates his lesson. every student appreciate uh, 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 being with him in the class such teachers are known as of course popular teacher there is a popular professor in your college there is a dull professor in your college there is a failure professor in your college and the last who are they they are they are a very well uh, you know they have got a very well built up foundation in their knowledge and they are very creative too how they know how to present they know how to appreciate they know how to crack jokes they know how to present things on the blackboard or the online board they are very good at both content and delivery such teachers are known as yeah they are the what is the name can you give a name for them Okay, you can type it in the in the in the in the in the chat box. I'll be waiting. We'll be looking at it later on. Yeah, of course, they are the yeah the star of the college, star of the university, and I would say star of the universe. Such teachers, they never retire. They never retire. Okay, guys. So these are the quadrants where a yeah, teacher could be placed. Where do you place yourself, Sh Shamil? I can see Shamil. I can see Shahad. I can see Jansi Thomas. I can see uh, Shashi Kumar. I can see Tony Jones. Only these guys. But I know that there are how many uh, uh, people are attending my seminar, webinar? Maybe uh, uh, more than two hundred. Maybe more than two hundred ninety teachers are attending. So where do you place yourself, well, guys? This is a question. Please have a self-reflection. Okay, this is the thing. Now let's have a benchmark about the teachers in the Cambridge University. now you are not alone in in, a, uh, in an indian university you have to benchmark with the cambridge university teachers what do they say there are five cambridge attributes that is confident in teaching are you confident to interact in an artful i mean uh, in an artistic manner to the students 
are you responsible as a teacher, as a, as a university uh, professor or a researcher? Are you reflective and equipped uh, for the uh, future challenges? Are you engaged, innovative? Are you creative? Are you engaged? These are the questions, my dear friends. Okay, here comes. You have to be a master in your subject and deliver it. Of course, you are. Everybody listening to me are masters in their subject and of course in delivery. I just wanted you to have a self-reflection at a time when the world is undergoing a very critical, alarming situation, wherein we have been given some time to reflect upon our profession, our calling. Okay, this is the thing, you know, the traditional classroom was like this. Teacher gives a note, the 1979 notes still given in 2019, 2020. The same note on algebra, on trigonometry, on uh, uh, world history, on psychology, on journalism, same note. Huh? They are cutting the people into the same. But beware of that. The reason time, the, the point, pandemic students, COVID-19 era students, they are like this. <laughs> have a look at it. You might have seen it. They, okay, they are highly creative. So we, we, we have to be very careful even when we are thinking about this online uh, COVID uh, classroom. So we have in our online classroom. Okay, guys, this is, what is this? Knowledge. You are all blessed with knowledge and we are all blessed with knowledge. And most of the teachers who are listening to me, 292 teachers, they are very experienced. This is experience. Knowledge, when it is connected with the real life, it is experience. But we need something more. What is it? That is creativity. Here comes the art of teaching. You have knowledge, you have experience. If you mix it and combine it into an artistic form, there emerges the art and science of teaching. Okay, my dear friends, please personalize your learning environment. Whenever you go to the class, whenever you teach online, start with, hi, I'm calling the names. I'm calling some of the Shamil. I'm calling some of the names of the teachers. Why I'm calling uh, some of Sharon Rose, Dr. Indu, why I'm calling the names? because I'm building up a rapport. I am personalizing the learning environment. Even though we are miles apart, continentally apart, uh, uh, not continentally apart, of course, uh, because we are in Asian continent, uh, but still we are uh, miles apart, kilometers apart, but still we are united. Uh, as if tin compasses, legs of two tin compasses. You remember that? English literature teachers may be listening to that. Uh, you know, the valediction, forbidding, morning is the Okay, learning art of teaching and the science of hopeful. Please, my dear, you okay. am I audible to you? Am I audible? Okay. Uh, make sure students remain hopeful because most of the students, they are pushed out of their entrance examinations. A need to keep many, many examinations. They are coming hopelessly. Maybe, I'm not sure. But there are some students who are very brilliant. They don't pay attention to these entrance examinations. They want to pursue their studies in fundamental science, fundamental humanities, fundamental business studies, etc. So they come to your college. So as a teacher of the university, as a teacher of the college, please make sure that at the right, uh, from the beginning of the college itself, give them an orientation to make them hope, hope what you have to do, okay? Passion. If you don't have passion, you cannot ignite others. So please fill up yourself with, by uniting with a teacher community all around the globe, I would suggest you to join many of the online universities. I would give you one word. Please note down. You may know these words. MOOC. M-O-O-C. What is M-O-O-C? Any, any suggestion on the uh, Shiji Prakash? Can you give me what is uh, meant by MOOC? Sheetal? Sabita? Any answers? MOOC. M-O-O-C. MOOC means Massive Online Open Courses. Sneha? Okay. Massive Online Open Courses. Please try to research out and do some courses, then you'll be passionate. You will generate passion in the students. Okay, now be connectable, my dear friend. Unless and until you are connectable. Suppose you are very assuming. You feel that you are far away from the student. Students are not going to remember you. You will be in the F section of the quadrant, four quadrant. Never be in the F section by not being connectable. Okay, guys, the art of teaching is, what is it? The art of teaching is to city in the young mind. So start with a question. Give away geometry. You don't start quantum mechanics. You don't start, uh, you know, your uh, age-old, uh, obsolete, treat things, and you know, you don't make the class boring. What you have to do ignites some curiosity by asking some meaningful 
beautiful questions. Please start your class with a personal uh, attachment. Okay, I don't want to wax eloquence upon that. So if you can't reach them, my dear teachers, you cannot teach them. Please teach them by reaching them. Okay, now what is this? Just for you know, uh, uh, switching your attention. What is it? Pieces of triangle. Huh? Okay, can you see another, another thing? These are your students. Your students are like this. Uh, 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 heaped broken images. No, there is. You have to make a beauty out of that. Yes, what sir. is it? Ismail, sir. Yes. Please uh, close your annotation in the um, slide. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I have to go to the, uh, uh, what do you call, you know, uh, I'm sorry, because since I am the host, you know, I can't. Huh? Okay. Okay, just a moment. Uh, please bear with me. Uh, somebody is doing it because maybe not, not because of, uh, not intentionally, maybe because they are doing using the smart touch screen, you know? Okay, uh, I'll, I'll go there, just a moment. Uh, allow them to live healthily. Please teach them by, uh, you know, showing them the social kindness. And of course, please teach them some content. And of course, make them a highly, what do you call, inspired human being by serving, by giving them energy to serve the society, to leave some legacy when they die. Before they die, they should leave some footprints. After attending your class, every one of your students should leave with a feeling that I have learned something today. I am going to make a difference. I am going to make a, then, I am going to make a difference to the world I live. The relationship you make, if you can create such a feeling and passion in your students, your classes will be much in demand. Okay, my dear friends, initiate participation from the part of the students. These days we have been, you know, since we, we have a name called lecturers, you have been lecturing like anything, but never engage in lecturing, but be attached to the students. They are adult learners but still they have a child in them. Please nurture their children. Okay, initiate participation. Have a look at it. You might have seen these things in your uh, college academic council uh, uh, programs. What is this? When you read, you remain, you, you remember 10%. When you hear, it remains 20%. When you see, 30%. When you see and hear, kandum ketum karlilurachal kalilirutai tirnidum. The student, teachers from uh, other states, please bear with me. Karnataka. It's your theory of quantum mechanics. It's your theory of uh, a trigonometry or topology. They will be attracted to listen to you in a different way because you are giving them experience. You discuss with them, 70%. They will remember that. Okay, they will remember 80% of experience and 90% of age, 5% when they teach. So please allow your students to give a presentation. Write down another word, TPA. Please, every teacher, please write down that, these three words, I mean three letters, TPA. Okay, TPS, another word is TPS. <laughs> Ask me uh, uh, in the question answer session. Okay, now, now uh, have a look at it. Be aware of your student development. Never rule out, never ever give up. Okay, what are the development? You have to have, a, as a teacher of a university, you have to have a look at this graph. You should tell at least once in a year that this is the graph of the life. People take birth, they die because there is a specific beginning and an ending. So as a teacher of life skills also, you have to look at it. This is the age where you spill. Okay, this is the age of spilling. And this is the age of spilling. Don't do the idea of being you know, in a thrill. Mm, uh, a, a field of pleasure because those days will never ever come back. So please give them some time to relax. Give them some time to uh, uh, share, care each other. 
but within limits. And of course, after that thrilling period, they will go into the billing period. Everybody is now paying bill, electricity bill, huh? Okay, you are all in this age. Okay, then we will move on to the ills period. Of course, it is 60 to 70. And we will move on to pills period, taking pills at your home. And of course, finally, we will have a bills. That means, oh, this real estate is for that. This thing is for that. Okay, I just draw your attention to this. Uh, uh, pictorically, <coughs> it will be like this. Okay, I have something here. Okay, guys, be aware of your student development once again. Your students have to develop from your classroom into a fully potential, a responsible human being. Nowadays, in the college campuses, communalism is taking place. They are writing anything on the social media. They are instigating uh, 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 what you call you know, hatred, hostile politics. Educate them. If you and me, if we are not igniting the value of humanitarianism, most of these students will be turning out into criminals. That's the world wherein we are living now. The heavy responsibility is on our shoulder as well. If you are well guided, your students will be well guided. I am sure I have living examples. Okay, so be exploratory in your teaching methods. Whoever comes out of the university, whoever comes out of the college as a criminal, you are also having a, an accomplice in that. You are also responsible for that. So please be a responsible teacher. Please never make them bored in your classroom. Employ exploratory teaching methods. That's why the science of teaching comes in. Okay, the science of teaching is art and science of teaching. Yeah, some science teachers believe that the art students are buffoons. At the same time, some art students believe that science teachers are nerds and buffoons. Both attitudes are wrong. We have to have a combination of the two. If you examine the history, you can see that those people who are well-educated in the artistic things, they are the noble uh, 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 person, citizens of the world, they serve the society. Look at Einstein, look at uh, Bertrand Russell, look at Rabindranath Tagore, look at uh, APJ Abdul Kalam, look at many, many people, Dr. Manmohan Singh, look at anybody you like. You can see a combination of these things. We have to have an integrated, holistic approach to education. So when art and science meet, there is a wonder. Please make your class a wonder, a real wonder every moment. Okay, this depends upon Bias. What is bias? Your belief about the learners. Intentions as to learners are to learn what a person teaching them is trying to accomplish. What are you teaching to accomplish? By teaching them uh, trigonometry, by teaching them uh, quantum mechanics, or by teaching them uh, what you call electronics. What are you going to achieve? What is action plan? What are the strategies? Here, these days, COVID has uh, put a challenge because students are not present physically as the vice Chancellor told you, students are not physically present. We have to depend upon uh, what he called uh, uh, online teaching and e-learning. So here comes the art of teaching again. It is the experience and harmony that becomes artistry, that your personal style accomplished with your philosophical perspective and associated with the tools that we use as teachers. Here we need some more sharpening of our skills. Then it becomes a wonderful thing. These are the, uh, some, I'm going to share with you some five perspectives of teaching. That is, learner is a container. Some teachers think that whatever I give, let them learn. No other issues. Don't be such a teacher. Learning process is an additive process. Teacher thinks that, you know, she's adding, please teacher, please my professors, just by a click, they will get more information than what you give in the classroom. Okay, productive learning is an increased knowledge. Nobody is in need of knowledge because knowledge they have at their fingertips. Okay, now, what is it? The uh, developmental perspective, learn Rase. Okay. What is it? Learn Rase. Computer. Here, learner's mind is like a computer network. Learning process starts with learners already know. And the product of learning is a qualitative change, the way of thinking, thinking, thinking. As a teacher, my uh, duty is to make students think. Let them come out with a lot of new thinking and creative thinking, critical thinking, reflective thinking, etc. Please, most of you teachers, you know these words, but please. Uh, in this lockdown period, have an exploration into that things. Okay, the, uh, the, the third one is apprentice of per perspective. Learner is understood as a member of a community. 
the learning process of socialization. Socialization is very important. And the productive learning is a change in the identity and social life. Very, very important. India is a pluralistic society wherein all the students must be well-educated, well-equipped to live in tolerance, to live in harmony, to live in uh, cooperation, to live in collaboration. If you don't teach them these ways, how can we have a better India with a, a pluralistic platform, a diversified pluralistic India, unless and until the teachers don't have this perspective. And the last thing is nurturing perspective, learners, learners as a person. And you know, these are the very important perspectives you have to remember. I hope that there will be some questions to, uh, uh, you know, to you in order to get your certificate because this is very serious academic thing. So these are the uh, nurturing perspective, learner as a person. The learner is understood both uh, as a person emotionally and intellectually. He has the emotion, he has the intellect. And learning process enhanced by caring relationship. Relationship is more important. Remember, Kalpata Narayanan sir, he is one of the wonderful teachers. He has been teaching. I remember my professor, Professor Tahir of Faru College. I remember my professor, Kurdusar, Dr. Kurdusar of uh, University, uh, uh, Calicut. And I remember my professor, uh, Dr. T.C. Aishabi. I remember Narasimha of uh, 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 Mysore RIE. I remember Dr. Soman. I remember Dr. Sukumar Nair. Why I remember these teachers? Because they made me a person. They made me a confident person with their education. Okay, the last thing is that, you know, they are a part of a society. So the, uh, it's understood to be a larger social structure and the learning process activated by creating dissonance with the current views. Don't, don't, don't ever be complacent and don't ever be uh, completely satisfied with the existing knowledge. You go on, go on inventing. Ask questions. Research questions are formed like that. So research must be given high priority and top priority in your classroom teaching. And uh, the product of learning is directed towards society as much as the individual. Okay, guys, the students are now this. These are the students. Jasira, you are listening to me. I'm happy. A, a new face is popped up. Okay, any place, anytime personalized these days. So my dear friends, I'm going to give you this. Uh, uh, the generation that you are having uh, in your classroom is Z generation, or we call it Z generations. 60% are uh, Z, and the, these generations have, they, uh, technology is a must for schools and colleges, because now they are uh, 6 to 18 or 25 years of old, and they are digital natives. So you are digital migrants, they are digital natives. So in order to address uh, uh, the classes in a, in a very bold manner, we have to be highly educated. So I, I teach you two important teaching methods. This is blended learning. Please take a course in blended learning. Very immediately, free courses are available online. Blended learning. What is blended learning? Samson Rajan. Blended learning means a teaching practice that combines or blends classrooms and online learning. This is going to happen in the post-COVID era. Blended learning means it's a combination of physical teaching and online teaching. And COVID has made such a change. Shahina, are you listening to me? Okay. Uh, okay, Shahina. Now listen to me. The instruction of a lesson occurs with both teacher interaction and computing devices. So blended learning is an area you have to uh, explore. You have to take a free course online. I'll give you how to take the course idea. Okay, blended learning uh, is that. Okay, uh, blended learning example. You know this. What is blended learning? Teacher-led learning and online learning together coming. Okay, they are called blended learning. This is, called, this is also known as hybrid learning. So please take a course free or online course are available. Uh, please take that course on uh, blended learning and the skills and the techniques for that. Okay, another thing is that, you know, the advantages, you know these advantages. I don't want to uh, uh, be eloquent. You can have a look at it. Okay, the next thing is a disadvantage is also there. Blended learning. Uh, we must be very acute. You can read it because I don't want to speak all the way because I'm a five. <laughs> okay. The next thing is, uh, this is the thing. Paradigm shift must happen in our classroom. Teachers, students, students are not allowed to use mobile phone. Teachers should allow them to use mobile phone judiciously. Give them literacy for that. Universities, professors, and classroom. In my classroom, they use three mobile phones in, in, in King Abdullah Sis University. And one for their personal thing, one for their, uh, uh, you know, classroom thing, one for their family thing. Yeah, because they are uh, in a developed country. But in India, at least every student must have one, uh, at least these days. So allow them to use it. If they don't have it, provide them uh, to have a peer learning environment. Okay? They are not distracting. Please, we have to 
another word is flipped learning please explore this flipped learning some reasons to consider access content any time that is flipped learning please what is this why we flip we flip ability to differentiate instruction uh, how students today access knowledge free uh, time uh, to work with students individually and you have students come prepared to answer questions in the class so flipped learning is another thing that we have to practice in our classroom you understand what i mean flipped learning okay please make an exploration into that uh, uh, when you are free at your home how to flip a class there are certain things we have to follow how to flip a class you buy in uh, the the uh, very important curated resources youtube and you know instagram and you know many many apps are there for the science teachers for those science teachers i i want everyone to download one application the application the name of the application is science news go to google play and download at least that science news so that you will be highly updated with the latest research findings so that you can give some new inputs to your students every day you can give please for those science teachers i appreciate if you can uh, uh, download one pocket pocket is another google app you have to download so that you will be updated every moment mathematics teachers history teachers literature teachers download pocket and you know browse for the area of your interest you will see the most widely read articles and uh, websites there the pocket okay how to manage classroom you have to study that technology training teachers must undergo training uh, you have to give assignments you have to give uh, workplace problems in class you have to uh, allow the students to be independent learners this will happen if you are uh, flipping a class and you will uh, enjoy peer tutoring by the students as well okay now tools for flipping you know these things everybody because you are all highly qualified uh, uh, university and college teachers and professors so these are the things that you can use there are plenty of such things just browse for that you will find more okay the thing is that there are 12 types of blended learning just have a look at it you can uh, search it online just uh, i want to walk you through some of the uh, online platforms so that you will get a, 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 a bird's eye view about this okay what is it next thing this is the platform we use here in king abdul aziz university to engage the students this is blackboard if university can purchase a blackboard platform it will be well and good you can uh, do everything uh, with the blackboard please uh, uh, arrange with the uh, uh, principal of the university i mean college or with the uh, 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 vice chancellor of the university arrange a blackboard platform so that you can very beautifully engage with the students in the classroom you can give assignments you can uh, do anything you like in the in this platform lms means learning management system and the next thing is that you know kahoot very interesting uh, uh, website please register yourself today itself you register yourself and play with your kids the kahoot if you play with your kids because you have a, your wife has a mobile phone you have a mobile phone husband has a mobile phone just uh, uh, type in and you know enter and you know practice with your family it's a wonderful website free and you can uh, uh, use it kahoot you have uh, different options and you uh, uh, assign it as you are and you will get a password like this it offers free access now free access okay uh, quantum mechanics if you have questions on quantum mechanics yeah, you do see uh, 3,919 uh, question answers are well set. You just click on it, you can enjoy it. Since I, we are very far away, I cannot show it to you online. But uh, make use of Kahoot in your classroom. Uh, any topic, literature, uh, uh, poetry, uh, grammar, uh, history, uh, politics, economics, any topic you like, you just type in. Uh, the set well set question paper you can do it with your students and they'll be getting the score then and there they'll be getting the answers then and there they will see their histogram going up and they'll be much what do you call you know engaged in your classroom if it is even if it is uh, a, a last class they'll be highly motivated to uh, enjoy this session okay the next thing is socrative socrative is very important and register with the socrative you can uh, uh, very beautifully interact with the students they'll be happy to interact with you okay and of course the next thing is quizlet for if you are a medical college teacher professor or a dental college teacher or a psychology teacher or a political science teacher or a business administration teacher anybody who learns from class lkg to postgraduate you will have plenty of uh, learning materials here 
And the next thing is, of course, Google Classroom. Plenty of things are there. Okay, next. Augmented reality, Orasma. Orasma, practice it, my dear friends. Deepa, you have popped up. Ramayandran, thank you <laughs> for being with me. Muhammad Iqbal, I see only four people at a time. That's why I call their names. I want to make good relationship with these uh, teachers. Okay, Muhammad Iqbal, art, art of e-learning. Okay, this is uh, 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 Orasma. If you have Orasma and if you have that uh, uh, Q scanner, students can just walk around the wall and they can just immediately go virtual learning. This is known as VR, virtual reality. Or you can call it AR, augmented reality. Make use of them in your classroom, my dear friends. Okay, the last thing. I'm coming to the last areas where you have to take courses. Teachers, please take courses. Every week and every month you can take courses and you can get well up updated. Future Learn is a site. Future Learn. Okay? Then, course era. Creative thinking techniques for tools and you know who is teaching there? Imperial College London. <laughs> I'm taking a course. I have almost finished that course. You can attend uh, professors from Imperial College London. Free. Okay. Next thing is Udemy. Udemy is one of the very beautiful sites where your kids can easily learn many, many skills online. Study Cube is another thing. Okay, my time is uh, almost uh, coming to an end. Uh, and I think uh, uh, I don't get their time. Okay, uh, uh, this is Study Cube. You can get a lot of things there. And this is the thing. Another thing is that Paulo Freire. You have heard of it. Education must begin with the solution of teachers to contradiction. Now exists a big contrast between teacher and student. Students are digital natives and teachers are digital migrants. We have to bridge the gap. Get educated. Get trained. Never be okay. So mobile phones are the natural communication of the choice of younger users. Are we preparing this generation for the future or the, for the past? Question. Make a decision. So students need new literacies. These are the literacies that they need. Of course, teachers too need new literacies. Teachers too need new literacies. Teachers should watch international classic movies. Teachers should wa watch uh, uh, Alexandra, Alexa Robinson, anthropologist. Teachers should watch, watch latest movies on different aspects of human existence. If you don't watch, the students who are coming into your class are well educated than you. So please find out time for that. Okay, the last thing, the last question, once again. Hey, my dear friends, where are you now? Where do you want to be? Huh? Coming back to this question. Be a guy, Sahat, be well educated. You are sure to be a star in your classroom. Okay, now, these are the references. You can see many references. And uh, thanks to all my contact details, mobile number and WhatsApp 0096-5411-5656. And email for one smile at gmail.com. Smile, huh? Okay. Now, you can ask me questions. Okay, turn on the mic. Uh, one by one, you can raise your hand. Uh, I think Nebisa Bibi will uh, you know, uh, allow you to speak. Dr. Nebisa Bibi will allow you to speak. You raise your hand. Okay, Nebisa, madam, can yes, you listen sir. to me? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, ask them to raise their uh, hand so that you know you can put them put uh, put their questions. I can answer. What is TPA? Very good. TPA means total physical interactions. TPI. Okay. TPI. Okay. Total physical interaction. When you teach, teach them with your body as well. Total physical actions. When you teach them uh, the galaxy, when you teach them the flower, even though they are uh, uh, not kids, they have a kid inside them. As a teacher. When Othello was taught, I remember, when Hamlet was taught by Professor uh, uh, Shahul Amis of Faru College, he was enacting it like anything. Othello, King Lear. Yeah. 
understand that so total physical interaction then the next one tps tps means think pair share when you ask a question you just ask them to think for 2 minutes then ask them to share with your friend pair pair with your friend then ask them to share with the class that will make your classroom a highly engaging everybody will be learning how to speak how to introduce how to how to describe problems how to explaining everything will happen t p s think pair share allow your students to think for some time then pair with your uh, his or her friend then share with the class that will make your classroom a wonderful engaging session any other question shape <laughs> shape is a very good question shape means you start with a story use humors in the class use activities in your classroom make your presentation well begun and well uh, bodied and well concluded the last thing is give a lot of examples so shape means stories humor activities presentation three parts good beginning body and good conclusion and examples if the topic you are teaching is very important repeat it several times any other question <laughs> i love your comments huh? i I'll, i'll just you know i'll go through your comments detail in detail okay any other comments any other questions <laughs> fantastic yeah 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 <laughs> i love i love such comments where do you place me am i in the f column or the d column or in the p column or in the s column <laughs> okay i know that okay any other question if you have enough you uh, ask uh, to no question sir if anybody uh, asks yeah yeah please uh, if you have questions just uh, uh, let me get the chance to ask to dr ismail sir yeah don't miss it Okay. Any questions, please? I am just saving your comments so that I can read it later. Okay. You you have to do it. You know when you take the attendance online, you ask them where are you. Tell your attendance. Okay. Raise your hands. Then you have to take a screen print so that you can later on look at it and respond to the student. Okay. This is another art of teaching. Okay. Next question, please. Ah, uh, need to. need to assistant professor department of journalism from don bosco college kannur okay need you any question i am just calling random names phoba ha you have no phoba vinod kumar very good <laughs> i appreciate that okay jubilee okay jubilee i am calling your names random huh? not by uh, you know particular selection okay any questions okay massive online open call okay mooks okay very good okay how many participants are there right now 284 participants well and good i know that most of you might have followers uh, learned something okay any other questions please okay i am coming to the last just a moment zahira Okay, good. Very informative, energetic, and enthusiastic session. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, madam. You are really star, sir. Okay, Sabida, very happy that I am a star because you are there. <laughs> Matthew is there. Simi is there. Okay, last area. I am here. Okay, I'm going to take the questions. Kahoot app, yeah, not school students alone. I can show you quantum mechanics. Is it for school students? Topology, is it for school students? Don't underrate your school students. Even school students are much much better than some of the university professors, you know. So every subject can be uh, 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 taught through Kahoot. There are plenty of questions, prepared questions. Please have a look at it. any other question 
okay <laughs> how to deal with the politics aha uh -huh. that's a wonderful thing how to deal with politics this is not the uh, under the spectrum of my presentation today you invite me for another seminar which is the best online learning app uh, how can i tell you my dear because uh, millions of apps are there you you use it uh, according to your need any other uh, uh, questions please I would like to have a look at all the participants. Okay, sir. You can switch on Moodle. The... Moodle is also a wonderful platform. Moodle. Yeah, Kanchan Nagesh from uh, uh, he, he or she wants to call me to their college. Yeah, inshallah, I'll be visiting your college. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there are 283 participants right now. Any more questions? Thank you so much. OBS as a teaching platform. Yeah, of course, there are plenty of platforms. You can uh, choose one which is very good, safe, secure, and suitable to the needs of your students and the college. Pioneer College. Aha, very good. <laughs> you can type in uh, any of the keyword uh, of the sub subject, and you will find uh, uh, prepared questions there. You will play and you know, you just play with your kids or your students, uh, somehow you will find it. Don't worry, the same thing happened with me also in the beginning. Okay. Commerce teachers, uh, wonderful, you know, uh, the economic you know, times is very important for the commerce teachers. Download the economic times app. At least they will be highly, uh, you know, <laughs> there are many, many uh, courses for commerce teachers, leadership. Please remember Yale University gives wonderful free online courses. Take it. Commerce teachers, please take that course. Yale University gives courses in marketing, courses in MBA. Three mini MBA courses are provided by some of the excellent universities all over the world. Good morning. I wish to call it as a fraternity of learning together during this pandemic COVID-19 lockdown period. I wish to extend my extreme thanks to all team to do this program for very success. Let me express my sincere thanks to Ismail Maridari sir, the faculty of King Abdulaziz University, Jiddah, Saudi Arabia for delivering a wonderful talk on the topic art and science of classroom interaction in the digital age with his experience and expertise in this field. I would like to express my sincere thanks to Honorable Vice Chancellor of Kanoru University, Professor Govindath Ravindran sir, for inaugurating the international webinar series Doctrina under, organized by the IQUC Sarset College. I would like to express my sincere thanks to our beloved manager, Advocate P. Mahmoud, for providing his support and encouragement. Let me express my sincere thanks to our respected principal, Dr. Ashraf Walpulisar, and our IQC coordinator, Dr. Nafisa Baby, for organizing this international webinar series under the auspices of Doctrina to impart the new learning experience through this webinar series. Let me express my sincere thanks to all participants from different parts of the state for their active participation in this webinar. I request you all to join our upcoming webinar lectures and uh, utilize this platform for your academic enhancement. Thank you all. Have a nice day. Thank, thank you, you thank you very much once again thanks to one and everybody and i once again remember dr pt abdulaziz and the principal ashraf sir and navisa bibi madam and our uh, beloved uh, uh, vice chancellor of the university professor gopinath uh, rabindran and moreover not the last but not the least but not but last but the least no how to say in that sense I appreciate every one of you from different parts of India who has been patient enough to listen to my words. Thank you very much. Make use of it and you know, be a star and make your students a star and make our India a wonderful star in the horizon of different uh, countries in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Dr. Nabisa Bibi, again, I'm leaving. Thank you very much.